Hey, what's going on my friends? Dave McLean, personal trainer and strength coach. Just got a quick video for you guys today regarding sales. One of the questions that I'm often asked in the comments on my other videos is, you know, is personal training just a sales job? Or um, some people are hesitant to jump into personal training because they think that they won't do well because there is a sales component to the job or they're concerned about sales and on and on and on. And so I just wanted to quickly address that. Obviously, personal training is a sales job, okay? It's a service. Therefore, you're gonna have to sell your services. And the best thing to do is to, yes, sell yourself, but more importantly, to sell the outcome that the client wants to achieve or sell the end result. This is why in my other videos, I often talk about you wanna become a specialist at something or have a target audience or a group of people that you're passionate about working with and also results that you're able to achieve with a group of people. So for me, I had a serious spine injury in 2015. The thing that really got me better was strength training in a certain way, strengthening some weaknesses, strengthening some imbalances that I had, learning about the mechanics of spine injuries, learning how to train around spine injuries. So, you know, I saw chiropractors and physiotherapists and none of it really worked. And it was only once I started educating myself and learning what not to do and then learning what to do uh, did that make me better. A lot of my clients are uh, spine injury clients. Back to selling. Listen, the number one rule of sales, regardless of what you're selling, be it a product or a service, the number one rule of sales is the first person who needs to be sold on what you're selling is you. If you're not confident in selling your service or selling the outcome as a personal trainer, then you're always gonna struggle with sales. Now, this confidence is gonna come with expertise and with time. So the more clients you train, the better you're gonna get, the better you're gonna get, the better results you're gonna produce, the more results you get, the more victories under your belt that you're gonna accumulate. And confidence comes from stacking small victories over and over again. You need to be sold on yourself, okay? You need to be confident and you need to be cool and calm and know that you can get the job done and know that you can help someone. One of the best things that I ever heard about being an expert in a field or being a teacher or a consultant or a coach is you only really need to be one or two steps ahead of the person that you're teaching in order to do a good job. Because in their eyes, they are gonna think that you really know your stuff. In your mind, you might see from point A to Z and you might be thinking, you know, I don't know how to get there the whole way. As long as you can take someone from A to B and then from B to C and then C to D and on and on and on, as long as you can help people make the next step, then you don't need to know everything. You don't need to see the finish line. You just need to be a few steps ahead of them. So that's how I think about how can I be more confident in working with a client? And like I said, you know, the first person that needs to be sold on your product or service is you. That certainness that comes with being great at sales comes from stacking wins and being confident. Is personal training a sales job? Absolutely it is. Uh, depending on how you're starting out in the industry, if you're working at a big box gym, like Gold's Gym or 24 Hour Fitness or Good Life Fitness in Canada, you are going to come in and maybe be given some trial clients. Maybe you're asked to prospect the floor. So, you know, you might be training people for little to no money in the beginning, but that's okay. That's how I started. And, you know, you just need to build your skill set. If you want to increase your value to the world, then develop skills and get great at skills that are in demand and that people value and that people want. So for new personal trainers, I would say fat loss, body transformation, body composition, nutrition coaching, those skills are always in demand. If you can get great at helping people take 30 pounds off in 12 weeks, you're gonna be a super successful personal trainer. If you can develop a system where for sure, like I help men and women between ages 35 and 55 drop 30 pounds in 12 weeks. You know, that's a great niche group of people to work with. They have money, they need health and fitness, they need to get stronger. They will value working with a coach that can help them get there. 
you should be learning about sales the exact same way that you learn about barbell training or kettlebell training or core training or any aspect of health and fitness. Sales is the universal skill regardless of where you are in the world, regardless of what you do, sales applies. A sale is always made in every interaction regardless of if someone buys personal training or not. Either you sell them on why they need training and they need your services and how they're gonna achieve that outcome and that end result, or they are gonna sell you on why they can't. But regardless, a sale is always made. So my message to new trainers would be don't fear sales. You're not gonna be great at sales on day one. It takes time. Read some books on sales. Why not watch some YouTube videos on sales? I love sales. I mean, sales to me is fun. I love sitting down from someone and getting to know them and getting to see how could I help them figuring out what problems they have in their life and what's held them back. I love teaching and educating and explaining how fitness can be the solution and how strength training can be the solution to their health and fitness goals. I never feel bad trying to sell someone personal training unless it's for sure someone that I can't help. I would have no problem referring someone out to maybe a better trainer or maybe another expert in a different field, but I never feel bad sitting across the table and asking for money when it comes to selling services to work with me and helping someone achieve the end result. You know, I heard this really early on in my career and someone said, you know, it's not like we're selling them something that's going to go down in value as soon as they buy it. You know, other types of sales, when you make a sale to someone, as soon as they leave the store, that item goes down in value. I never think that way about coaching, especially with fitness. Obviously not everyone is gonna buy and that's okay. I mean, as one-on-one -on -one personal trainers, we don't need 100 clients. We don't need 50 clients. You don't need 20 clients. You really need like 10 to 15 max, really good committed clients, training at least two times a week. Some people will train three times a week. I don't even mind if sometimes people are training once a week. I do have some one time a week clients and they are great clients. Okay, now they are in the gym an additional three or four times a week on their own. So that's why I would work with them one time a week. But let me get back to the main thing. Is personal training a sales job? Absolutely it is. Don't fear sales. It is a skill set that can be built with time, with practice. And the more that you do it, the better you are gonna get. And don't let something like sales stand in the way of you achieving your goals and your dreams and working your dream career. If I had let sales stand in my way, there's no way I would have got started and my life would be so different today. You know, I was lucky to have a mentor early on. I had a very good fitness manager at the first gym I worked at and he taught me sales. But if you don't have that, that's okay. You know, find a mentor online, find a mentor on YouTube, find a mentor through books. Books are the most affordable way to gain someone's expertise. You can read a book in one week that took someone 30 years of practice and trial and error to write. Don't fear sales. Personal training is absolutely a sales job, but I can't think of anything more rewarding than having your own fate in your own hands. Because guess what? If you wanna make more money, if you wanna elevate your life to the next level, that's in your control. Just go and sell some more personal training programs. Go and get more clients, go and change more lives. You know how many people would want to make more money and want a better quality of life and they feel like they don't have control over that because of the industry that they are in? As personal trainers and fitness coaches and strength coaches, that's in our direct control. I love the fact that if I wanna make more money, if I wanna buy something, if I wanna contribute more and give back, that's in my control and all I have to do is just go and get more clients and I see that as give more value to the world and help more people, okay? So yes, personal training is a sales job. Don't fear sales. Learn the skill of selling. It will apply to anything and everything in your life. Stack those victories, gain that self-confidence, and a sale is made every single time. Either you are selling someone on why they should work with you and why they should pursue the outcome and the end result, or they are gonna sell you on their excuses. Lastly, the number one rule of selling anything is the first person who needs to be sold on your product or service is you. Take care, guys.